you see in MBAs coming from all sorts of business schools. I'm kind of curious what uh, competencies, in particular maybe newer competencies, you think are important in terms of how the kind of talent that you're looking for these days. Well, maybe if, if, as long as I'm here with all these students and all, this fa all these faculty members, um, this is your chance. Ma maybe, <laughs> maybe talk about some old things first. Uh, it's important not to lose sight of the ability to write uh, and the ability to communicate. Uh, and uh, I, I know that in, in many respects that's not the, the core focus of the, the um, curriculum in the business school itself. Uh, but, but people need to be able to communicate, and particularly if they're gonna, if they're gonna take big jobs. Uh, they need to understand how to think, they need to understand how to write, they need to understand how to speak. Uh, and if, if you're a master at uh, running a, you know, a spreadsheet or a financial model but really don't have the ability to understand the assumptions that are in it or to debate the assumptions that are in it or to convince somebody that they're the right assumptions that are in it, uh, then you're not going to go as far as you can go otherwise. I think a second old thing would be curiosity. Uh, and think about it as lifelong learning. Uh, and of course with the executive MBA and other things, you've got that institutionalized here. But how, how do you instill in your students a uh, insatiable curiosity about uh, learning my job better, learning why we do the things we do, uh, learning why the organization works the way it does, uh, figuring out with others in the organization whether it can do it better. Uh, and that curiosity is what will ultimately create opportunities uh, for better performance, but also for career growth. So I think these, these old things are really extraordinarily important.